Danny Flexen here for seconds out with unbeaten British and Commonwealth heavyweight champion Daniel Dubois here at the Peacock Gym. How are you doing today? Yeah, fine. All good. You've just had a new photo shoot of Dev Sarni from Frank Warren Promotions telling me that last photo shoot you were only about 19 years old. So I'm guessing things have changed a bit since then. Of course. Um, as you know, when, the, when these cameras start, then it's, it's fight time. So, you know, it's, it's just waiting on a, uh, a date and who, who's, who's next. We obviously know there's been negotiations um, around the Joe Joyce fight and it's a fight that's been talked about ever since uh, Joyce signed with Frank Warren um, and you were both part of the same stable promotionally. What, what do you make of Joe Joyce as a fighter? Um, he's, he's a tough, strong boy. He's, looks, he doesn't look great, the greatest of boxers, but um, I'm sure he's got, a, like all, all fighters, have got the, that, that's at that level, um, a prospect. So we're on, um, we're on collision course, really, and it's the fight that I want to I wanna have next, and, and I want to beat him and move on, and it's going to be a, a great night if that fight happens. Now, you probably think I'm being rude by looking at my phone, but it's because I know Joe Joyce has done a guest column for Boxing News this week, in which he's talked about you quite a lot. Um, and he said, I think Daniel's very strong and he can throw some heavy leather, but I think he's quite predictable and basic. He's got a very strong jab. It's like a backhand. He's got a massive hook. He's a rising star. What do you make of those comments? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yes and no. I've... I mean, um, I haven't shown, the best of me is still to come. And, um, you know, put him in front of me and I'll show you all of what I can do. And, and how I know, I know I can beat him. And it's just about, you know, preparing right and training hard and preparing, you know, just to perform on the night. And so all, all the rest is, is just, you know, talk is cheap. So I'm ready to show up. You've got the belts. You're arguably the bigger name. He's higher in terms of world level experience, um, both an amateur and a pro. Who do you think has got more to gain from the fight? I think, um, you know, I couldn't say really. I think it's, um, it's a fight, you know, for, for both of us. It's on to the next step, the next level. Where, where best, I think, domestically, there's not too many other fighters around. And um, right now, I think, I think it's just all to go, go for, really. It's all um, heading in the right direction for a world title. So... I think we're both, we've, it's a must win fight and um, it's a fight that it's, it's just breaking out of domestic level really. Do you think it's the sort of fight that will put you bang on calls for a world title shot by the end of the year? Because I know that's something Frank and you have both talked about in the past. Probably, yeah. Um, still, still there's, there's a long way to go to a world title and a lot more fights than Joe will or there's you know, a list of them. So if we get... You know, there's just about taking one set up, step at a time, one fight at a time and proving on the night I'm the best fighter around really and I'm continuing to prove to not, not only the public but myself that I'm world championship material and, and I'm, I'm going to make it. And Joe's known for his work rate coming forward, putting on pressure. Do you expect him to do that against you or do you think he'll be a bit more wary because of your power? Well, whatever he does, I'll have an answer for it and... Um, don't care, you know. I'm on. I'm focusing on myself and what I've got to do on the fight night. And if we if we meet, and um, then you know, it's, it's I'll be ready for whatever he brings. He's obviously said in that he said a lot of nice things as well. But he also said you were basic. Some critics out there have called him basic in the past. Who do you think's got kind of the more varied skill set? Well, for me, it's not about. Um, I know I've got bags and bags of experience from amateur days and what, I've, what I'm learning on the job as a pro. So, well, we'll see on the night. Um, I, can, I can stand there and say, you know, I feel, I feel I'm the best. I feel I've got the sharper jab, I've got the sharper punches and crisper shots and more accurate fighter. So, I'm just about proving it on the night, really. I think there's, we've still got a way, way to go yet, but we're nearly the finished article.